Hello guys, in this video we will discuss the Lacy's regime theory and design the canal according to the Lacy's procedure. According to the Lacy, silt is kept in suspension by the vertical components of eddies generated at all points of forces normal to the wetted parameter. A regime channel is said to be in regime if there is neither silting nor scouring. So these are the three regime conditions in which the final one is not practical. So the true regime or the initial regimes less is as defined as well. So you can go through it and we will quickly go the design procedure of the laces for the canals. So he has derived different formulas. We are, uh, uh, in exam we will provide all these formulas. So you have to select the required formula for your problem. So the first step is calculate the velocity from the equation. This is the derived equation. This is derived equation for the velocity. These are all its factor defined. Then we have the hydraulic radius, flow depth, width of the channel. Then we will compute the area of the channel. Then weighted parameter from this formula. And after all this calculating, we will calculate the bed slope from this formula. So we have a problem, we will solve it from, from the defined laces procedure. This problem says the design an irrigation channel in allu alluvial soil from flowing from the following data using laces theory. So we have given the discharge, laces silt factor and side slopes. So this is the side slope not the bed slope, so we have to calculate the bed slope. We have to calculate the width of the channel, we have to calculate the, uh, you can say velocity, we have to calculate the uh, hydraulic radius and flow depth, all this factor we, have, we will calculate from this given data by using the formulas derived by laces. So the first step is to calculate the velocity. So we have the, this formula for velocity, we have given the uh, discharge we will put the value of Q and F value is uh, 1, less is seed factor value is 1, 1 by 40. So we will calculate the velocity. We have the velocity 0 0.68 time meter per second. We will calculate the area from this formula because we have the Q velocity is 0.689. So the area is 21.77 meter square. So the parameter will be calculated from this formula it is 18.4 meter flow depth will be calculated from this formula after putting the values we have the flow depth is 1.36 meters and width of the channel will be calculated from this formula which is 15.36 meter and our hydraulic radius will be calculated from this formula and this is 1.18 meters so the bed slope will be uh, after putting all these values will be 1 by 5 to 4 5 so this is uh, the uh, uh, problems uh, which, we, which we can solve from the laces procedure uh, so in, in the next problem this is this the slope uh, sorry uh, the slope of an irrigation channel is 0.2 per thousand that means 1 by 5000 lacy silt factor is given channel side slope is given find the full supply discharge and the dimension so previously we have uh, the discharge and now we have to calculate the discharge and the dimensions of the channels so we have again we will again follow the same procedure and solve this problem uh, so all these problems uh, or the different problems you can uh, go through the books of the Hanif Chaudhary and Viti Cho and solve all the other problems as well related to the laces theory so these are the dif uh, difference between the kennedy's theory and the laces theory thank you so much